Jay Baba, welcome. We're so grateful that Brandon is taking all this time with us each month to just celebrate our beloved Baba. And it is our November 2023, getting near the end of the year. So Brandon, I hope you sign up for the next year because <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be here. I'll sign yeah. him up. I'll sign him up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love doing this. this we'll, is so we'll book you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah. Call, <laughs> call my booking agent. All uh, right. Yeah, well, well, thanks for having me again here mm -hmm. on, on Baba Zoom and, and Ruth's wonderful um host hosting me here. And um I was thinking this story. I, I meant to post online. Uh, I'm one of the admins in the My Journey to Mayor Baba group, and you know I, I share a lot of Baba stuff there, and so and so many other people. I feel like there's, it's more engaged than it was, maybe even a few months ago. It's just great to hear all these new members keep flooding in. Anyway, there's a story I've mean to post about like this. What Baba said to me recently, which was I was really struggling in one of my roles as a musician, or maybe all of them. <laughs> And um, and he, he he told me, do you want to do well or do you want to serve me? You know, and I'm like, when you put it that way, you know, do I want? Because I was so focused on well, what the actual message was. Do you want to learn how to be a good sight reader for my choir job or do you want to serve me? And I was so focused on, you know, getting better uh, that I'm forgetting that I'm here to serve Baba and to serve God and. And let him take care of it. And I was just reading. Um, I, I I got Hafiz. Am I saying that right? Hafiz, his divan. Gosh, I don't know how to say. It. I only read these words. <laughs> but anyway, his big thing of poetry. And in the introduction, the um, author was talking about his period of time where he was kind of a, a had a split or double life. On the one hand, acquiring worldly knowledge and craft. On the other hand. Just giving it all up to God, and and um, I feel like that's kind of where that message from Baba really fits in for me. So it's, I'm really trying to live that. So um, yeah, and serve Baba. So I'll, I'll I'll do a bunch of originals here today, and then some other things, and maybe some poetry, and then it will, it will, be, it will be fun. This one is one I've done a few times. This one's "Remember to Remind Me." There's a shore 
I still have your part Remember to find love inside of your heart Cause this will soon come to end So before the next begins Remember, remember to remind me yeah. Remember, remember to remind me Remind me. That's remember to remind me, yeah. <laughs> remember to remind me how much you love me, how much you exist for me, you know. Um, that one, I, I Bobby re reminded me that I should start naming the um, authors of the songs I sing. And that one is an original, but um, I, I was still totally forgot to look up every, any covers I do, <laughs> unless it's Cole Porter, maybe. I won't know the names, <laughs> so sorry, Bobby. But I'm going to do a lot of originals anyway, so maybe we'll avoid. Yeah, no, no shoulds, just no shoulds. No. You're right. You're no right. Shoulds you're right. here. You're right. You're right. No, no shoulds. <laughs> You, and you didn't say it was a should. You you said you said it was it'd be a great thing. It's because it's such important. Um, anyway, I'm gonna keep moving on with another original. This one I don't have lyrics for yet, but I think a lyric is on the way. You know, it's like oh, it's exciting that a lyric might be on the way now. But the 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 title really struck my heart. This one is it's called um, uh, No Rest Till I See Your Face. And I'm excited, maybe next Zoom I'll have a, a lyric for this one, but it's an instrumental for now. It's really cute, so I'll play this one.
That's uh, that, that one's an original called "No Rest Till I See Your Face." No rest until I see your face. You know, J Baba. Um. <clears throat> Beautiful song. Yeah, isn't that a cute tune? Oh, I love it. Thank you, Bobby. Oh. Thank you, Bobby. Oh. I'm gonna do another one. This one is one of those tunes. Sometimes when you're writing a tune. Sometimes it's very clear what the form is, how it feels, you know, all these things you can kind of take for granted when you're in the flow. This is one of those tunes that's like, I, I wrote it and then I had no idea what the beat is like, Every even the time signature, one of those weird tunes. But I, fi I think I finally settled in here. And so I wrote this one a while ago now, but I'll play it. This one's, um, I love you, I do. I do, I love you, I do. Yes, I love you more and more, you know I do. When I'm with you, you make me forget who to thank for reminding me it's you who loves me too. To think of you and spend my days dreaming all of my time away, losing all I thought I to love you more and more I love you I do I love you I do yes I love you more and more you know I do only to love you there uh, I love you I love you I do yeah I love you I do Bobby I thought you'd like that feel for that one <laughs> I used to do it really slow and I'm like this isn't working <laughs> uh, I really love Nat King Cole he's one of my one of my favorite singers uh, and and piano players did you know he's such a great piano player I mean, maybe maybe you you folks do a lot of people don't know what a wonderful piano player like like up there with the greats he is um, you know, Brandon, I took I took a jazz history course, no credit, just a fun course. And what I learned, one of the things I learned in that course was that there was a Nat Cole trio, and that's where he started. And then after you know he's a great piano player, but then after people heard his voice, and then he, you know he was asked, urged to sing too. Yeah. He started out as a piano player. Yeah, and his, his trio recordings are so great. And you see groups now that copy that thing all the time. It's piano, guitar, and, and bass, no drums. Something about it is so magical and just beautiful. Yeah, right? And I, I wish I knew about them. Oh, Nat King Cole, he's the Christmas guy. 
Yeah, one of the many Christmas guys. Yeah, I know Gant King Cole. <laughs> That's how I grew up. Yeah. Okay. And Nature Boy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nature Boy. The song Nature Boy. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I don't know that. Famous. Yeah. He was a boy, a very small enchanted boy. Yeah. Beautiful. I'll do another one here. Um, this one's called Will I Think of You, and it's a really happy song. Uh, but I was playing it too slow, and it sounded like it was like a sad song. And it's not a sad song. It's a very happy song. <laughs> okay, so this was another original, w Will I Think of You. dream of you for you does my heart burn a line a line and time that's ending is it ending in your arm for good advice i paid the price i gave to you all that was mine and now my hour it beckons does it My song plays out Will my hour be wasted Or will I think of you I know in time you will be mine But now does my soul cry out Crying are you gently in my arms? I grieve the years of worried fears I threw away to the world But my world's found new beginning It's beginning in your arms After that river empties After that song plays out Will my hour be wasted, or will I think of you? That's one of my that's one of my favorite songs that I'm really shy to say that I wrote. You know, when I feel like I'm writing with Baba in mind, it just you know, I feel like it's his work, and it is. But that's one of my favorite ones. You know, that will I think of you? Will I think of you? Will I think of you? Baba, Baba, Baba. I was um, I I shared it with I didn't really share this, um, but I had an episode recently where I fell back and hit the back of my head on concrete. And it was it was in a big rush to like get to the airport on time, and in the moment it was it was in the moment it was very it was distressing. My fiance was there; she was very calm and knew just what to do. But uh, yeah, it was totally fine. It was just a little scratch, and and there was no issues. I went to the doctor, but just for a moment, you know, when you hit this area, I was I was like stunned, and you know, 
didn't know what was happening or what was going on and there was there was blood loss and I didn't know we didn't know what what happened you know so just for a moment so, and um, the first thing I thought was as soon as I could to grab my phone and, and pull up a picture of Baba and just stare at it and and you know think about it and uh, it was so concerning we had an ambulance come and it was scary but I was thinking of Baba and I was so happy I was my fancy was scared and you know I, I felt concerned too but I was so happy because I was thinking of Baba like if this is the moment where my soul leaves this form I'm thinking about Baba that's good you know so um so that was a, a recent and then this that song came a little bit after you know so it's really really special all right I'm going to do a jazzy tune this one's an, another original of mine I played a couple times um I kind of think of uh, Ella Fitzgerald, another one of my favorite singers, singing this one. Well, I sing it, but we'll, we'll see if I do that justice. This one's called I Belong to You. to you truly you belong to me too happy does my heart sing when i think of you soon the whole world will see what true love can do never in a year will i cease to think of you dear how the rainy days pass so swiftly and clear i know the world will come to know love so near you will be one with me one i will be with you i'll forget all the world and love only you as you love me too you belong to me truly i belong to you more wherever can i go now and love's at my door Soon the whole world will see what true love can do. You 
belong to me truly I belong to you more Wherever can I go now When love's at my door Soon the whole world will see What true love can do Soon the whole world will see What true love can do Soon the whole world will see what true love can do. Thank you, Ella. Yeah. Ella, that yeah. was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I belong to you. Um, I belong to you, right? I, I love these when, these when titles work out and they just say it all, you know? It's like, yeah. Don't need to write any more lyrics. I already have the title. <laughs> uh, special. I like, um, I'm going to do, I know what I'm going to do. But just in case. Oops. Sometimes I, I like to just, um, stamp out my thumbs and hope I type in a song name and the word lyrics as best as I can that Google will pull it up for me. I'll, you know, they'll be like, I guess kind of what I write, but I'm hoping that Google, and usually it does, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I don't get lucky. It brings back the sound of tropical splendor It brings back the music so tender It brings back a memory evergreen I'm with you once more under the stars And down by the shore an orchestra's playing and even the palms seem to be swaying when they begin the beginning. To live it again is past all endeavor, except when that tune clutches my heart. And there we are, swearing to love forever. Sure, an orchestra's playing. Yes, even the poems seem to be swaying when they begin. They begin. What moments divine, what rapture serene, till clouds came along to disperse the joys we have tasted. And now, when I hear people curse the chance that was waiting. I know but too well what they mean So don't let them begin the begin Let the love that was once a fire remain an ember Let it sleep like the dead desire I only remember When they begin the begin Oh yes, let them begin to begin, make them play Till the stars that were there before return above you Till you whisper to me once more, darling, I love you Then we suddenly know what heaven we're in When they begin to begin
And and of course that's begin to begin by Cole Porter, right? By Cole Porter. Um such a beautiful song. Such a beautiful song. I'm gonna do one. I've been doing a lot of New Orleans gigs lately at um at this little this little new place. I, like every month I've been leading a trio, which is new for me. So we do a lot of uh New Orleans stuff and jazz stuff and I I I I love this this old gospel song. It's also a New Orleans song. But that was Sister Rosetta Tharp. She has a verse where she goes, I'm going to meet my loving mo mother down by the riverside. So, you know, that, that's a great lyric. I thought, meet my loving Baba down by the riverside is a, a great one too. Well, in that same vein, I'm going to do another original tune I've done here uh, a lot. And this one's called uh, My Baba's Hand. Set my feet on that promised land I'm gonna take my papa's hands Hold them just as long as I can I'm gonna swim to that seventh shore I'm gonna knock on that seventh door I'm gonna remember all those things that I knew before Yes, when I take my papa's hand I'm gonna sing my papa's song one to whom I've always longed. I'm gonna sing cause I have no choice. I'm gonna sing with my master's voice. I'm gonna hide, hide away. I'm gonna leave where I can't stay. I'm gonna leave all those things that I couldn't stand. Yes, when I take my Bible's hand. myself back to you. I'm gonna take my Bible's hand, set my feet on the promised land. I'm gonna hold it all the way till I understand. Yes, when I take my Bible's hand.
promised land I'm gonna hold it all the way Till I understand Yes, when I take my Bible's hand I'm gonna hold it all the way Till I understand That's when I take my Bible's hand My 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 Baba's hand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I'll I'm gonna read a, a a poem that just came out this week. And um. That just came, an original poem. I mean. That I feel like um. <laughs> expresses something fun to me. That's very funny, but 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 true that this one's called divine occupations the irs wanted to know how i make my living i had no honest answer so i remarked the following titles music teacher musician i'm a professional hypocrite yes but a teacher i'm assur assuredly i'm not for the good i would prescribe i found i myself will not do and the wrongs i'd impress upon others to avoid i will readily perform with no thought of correction or sincere improvement. I am an advocate for the indelicate and poor of taste, but I am no musician. Once in a while I bring God with me when I play, and from me great work can come. But more often than not, I tell God simply to stay put while I strut out to the world, brazen in my ignorance that an empty cup will fill a well. What then comes from this musician is less than filth and garbage, for even filth and garbage would be offended by the comparison. What is this fool to do? Upon my heart is God's commandment that I fulfill my responsibilities to the world despite my weaknesses. I am capable of no good and much wrong, but I know the gift that I have been given, to serve my beloved faithfully, even in failure and defeat, is to know true success. So I will take God's hand in mind, mine, and I will be brave in the hardships to come, for the master has set me my work in the world, and I will not waste the opportunity. And I will tell the world with total honesty that I will presume my usual titles, for better or for worse, till God says otherwise. And that was uh, Divine Occupations, uh, a new poem. And, um, um, uh, and of course, I'm not making fun of myself. <laughs> I'm saying... Well, I'm, I'm recognizing that, you know, everything that comes from me is just, is of absolute, literal no value. And just recognizing that, yet, everything that I let come from God is of real value. Everything, you know, and the work that comes through me when, I let, when I'm making sure Baba is the one working really has an impact on others. And I've felt that and seen that and experienced that from others myself. And so it's just an affirmation of the true and a... Uh, uh, gentle, gentle, uh, gentle jesting with the false. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to keep things going here with some more originals here. Oh, this one I, I like to pull out. This one is uh, way back with my baby. My baby being God, my baby being you know, the beloved. I'll be up with the sun. Can't believe that the time has come. That I'll be there, right there, way back with my baby. It's a new day's dawn. And I'll be sticking it out alone But I'll be there, right there, way back with my baby I feel the love, but I can't get in I think about the moments when I've sinned Way out of love again Back to the 
the start You know I'm ready to play my part Anything to get back home to my baby What do I need to know? You know I'm already set to go Yesterday I'll get back home to my baby I feel the love but I can't get in I feel about the moments when I've seen so much I see you guys I see claps and stuff um, I you know as lovers we all go through those cycles right where it's it's like you're right next to Baba physically and then it's like Baba's never talked to you ever <laughs> you know it's like where'd you go oh you're right there you know so it's like those moments where you come back and and you feel Baba's presence in you and all the Weaknesses just seem to go away and everything that, you know, all your shortcomings to perfection, <laughs> which are for me abundant, just seem to vanish. Every time I'm back, I feel myself back in the Baba's presence in that very uh, all-consuming way, you know. Okay, let's see. I've, I'm going to do, well, let me think here. Oh, here's a great tune. Um... This one's Easy Living, and I, I think I do this one a lot, but because I, I think it has such a wonderful Baba message, Easy Living. You know, living for you is easy when you're in love, right? Any hardship is easy when, um, when I'm thinking about Baba. And I wanted to get, who, who wrote this one? It was a name I don't remember knowing too well. Oh, yeah. It was written by Ralph Ranger and lyrics by Leo Robin. So I don't really know those names too well, but they wrote a wonderful tune here. the 
Another tune that um, the Mill Brothers um, recorded, and it's called "Till Then," and I feel like it has such a wonderful, such a wonderful um, Baba message. You know, just go on until then, until until we're reunited, right? And this one's written by Guy Wood, Soul Marcus, Eddie Seller. Darling, please wait for me till then No matter when it will be someday I know I'll be back again Please wait till then Our dreams will live though we are apart Our love I know we'll keep in our hearts till then all the world will be free please wait for me although there are oceans we must cross and mountains that we must climb i know every grain must have a loss so pray that our loss is nothing but time till then what there will be till then we'll call on each memory till then when i will hold you again please wait till We must cross, 
and mountains that we must climb. I know every gain must have a loss, so pray that our loss is nothing but time. Till then, we'll dream of what there will be till then. We'll call on each memory till then. When I will hold you again, please wait till Till then, we'll dream of what there will be. Till then, we'll call on each memory. Such a great tune. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's a great one. Okay, I'm looking at my um, <clears throat> originals here. Oh, this, this is um, this is another original one. This, is, this one's called Make You Mine. And it's perspective of Baba call, and, and calling his lovers and and waiting until they're ready to know him and serve him. That's how it feels like for me, you know? I just felt like I was being pulled by a magnet towards, I didn't use the word God then. I, I wasn't sure about that word a few years ago, but to the divine, to enlightenment, of, uh, you know, and come to know, find out it was Baba all along that was pulling me. So he was making me ready to, I, I had this experience um, where I was reading Ram Dass's, uh, what was his book? Be Here Now. I had it on my shelf for years and I thought, I, I opened it for, and I like, this is like 2015. I was early twenties. I opened it up and I'm like, this is too far out for me. I don't know what's going on here, but whatever it is, I'm not ready for it. <laughs> Put it back on the shelf. You know, it was, it was too much of a head trip, but then I got back into it in, in 2020 and I, it was, uh, a mesmerizing experience reading through each of those pages. Um, and I, I felt such a deep love for Neem Karoli Baba, his, his Ram Dass's guru, if you're familiar. And I wanted so badly too for him to be my guru, you know? And I, I still, I feel a love for him, but uh, I, I knew he wasn't mine. We didn't have that kind of business together. Uh, but I remember hearing this, um, thing in my this phrase in my soul and it felt like it was coming from from neem karoli baba and he said I, the boy needs more astonishment <laughs> i was like what you know the like it's it's as if uh maharaji neem karoli baba was talking to someone else saying you know if he's not ready the boy needs to be astonished more <laughs> before he's ready to handle what you know understanding the reality of god and and discipleship and all that stuff so that was such a it gave me such a thrill and such a you know like uh, such a push, and then a couple years later, Baba did did come, and I was ready. I, I I wasn't like what's all this? I wasn't skeptical. I knew as soon as he came because I he made me ready. So um, this one's called "Make You Mine." In the night, I'll be watching over you. In the night, I'll be watching over you. I've been standing here all this time, knowing daylight soon. Make you mine when the dark when the dark night draws in close I look around. I 
I've been waiting here all this time Knowing one day you will arrive And I've been waiting till you make your mind Till I make your mind Standing in front of you I see your face That is definitely a favorite. That's thank a favorite. You. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Ruth. Well, you know, every one of your originals are pretty amazing. Oh, thank you so for saying that. that. I know, Bob, Bobby, you really like that one. And I appreciate you saying that too, Ruth, because I sometimes I forget I forget to come back around to that one. And it's um, it says something special. And I, I just, I, yeah, so I appreciate you saying that. So I think I think I'll end the the music on that um, that note. I think that was a good way to send it off. Uh, this is so much fun hanging out with with everybody and seeing some friends, you know. And, and I'm so grateful you guys tune in to see what's going on. <laughs> you know, I'm sure that there's tons of other stuff you could do. And um, yeah, it's been this has been a delight. I was I was feeling stressed earlier. I was like I had so much to do. I was doing all these chores. I'm thinking like. I had to get ready for the Baba concert and then it all kind of fell to place just an hour before and this is really nice. So really nice way to spend a Thursday. <laughs> yeah. I uh, you're speak you're 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 speaking my story right now. That's exactly how I felt today. And I'm so grateful that I always have time to come here to hear you. Me I too. know everybody else is shaking their head. They feel the same way. Yeah. Yeah. I have this row of um it keeps multiplying, but now I have six Baba photos on my <laughs> and so when I when I but when I gig I take them all with me. So I, first I had one or two, now I take all six. <laughs> I'm put them right there. <laughs> oh, it was really cool. I was playing with this new musician. He's a really sweet guy, just a great energy um and he he was asking like hey what's with mary baba and 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 i explained a little bit you know about it and he's like ah oh, don't worry be happy like oh, that's really cool like great you know I'm like yeah and then i thought that was just kind of the end of it and then on on the gig he he said so yeah so i was actually googling a little bit about mary baba and i'm like whoa well inside i'm like whoa and outside i'm like oh really yeah <laughs> what'd you find what did you, you find out and he was just reading some other stuff and he thought it was great philosophy and i i wasn't sure like i think he's christ but <laughs> he was ready for that moment <laughs> but the fact that he through seeing a baba photo here uh looked up baba i thought was like special to me so you know sure. brandon brandon uh, i i had this experience with a um uh milton burl 
you know, he's just this old time entertainer, comedian, f- father of television. I'm not, I was at a fundraiser and I went up to him and I showed him the Don't Worry, Be Happy card. And I says, you see this card? I says, this helped me to laugh when it was really hard for me to laugh. And he took it and <laughs> he went like this, way down like And he says, yeah, he says, it is funny. Do you want me to keep it? I said, if you like. So he stuck it in his pocket. And I never liked his comedy. It was kind of put down. But as he walked away, I thought, he has a comic energy. Definitely. Okay, so seven, it had to be at least seven years later, I was a caretaker at the Baba Center in uh, West Los Angeles. And he was offering a free workshop. So I went and um, he saw me in the front row and he says, we've met before. Mm-hmm. I says, oh yes, we have met before. And then he says, you were wearing the same dress 40 years ago or whatever. Yeah. You know, he's that put down. I remember that, yeah, wow. Yeah, but after he finished his shtick, as they say, People were after his autograph, and I was just waiting to see if we, you know, if you, what happened to that car, did you? And uh, everyone was gone, and I, I had my hand on his hand. He didn't take it away, which is a big deal. Or someone that's been such a ce- celebrity for so long, you know, like to keep that distance. And I held the Don't Worry, Be Happy card up, and I he says, he totally lost his cool. He went, who is it? Who is it? Like, you know, that, wow, what is that? You know, and I says, that's Meher Baba, because I never said his name. He only looked at the card. And he took it and put it in his pocket. I couldn't get him to take it back out, but... <laughs> He didn't stay on this planet much longer, about a year. So I did him a, a favor, you know. You but I tell it. you, from that, it's like Baba does his work. I didn't even say the name, but he looked at it like, and it was just, and I know that card for me was just to know not to worry it has to be heaven or God realization, just not worrying, you know. Wow. Anyway, it 